we gotta go to mom's house. Do you wanna know now or later? I said, no. Car crashes involving speed across Ohio are killing more drivers. We know this from looking at Ohio State Highway Patrol numbers, but look deeper. We're not just talking about hundreds of people dying, we're talking about super speeders going more than 100 miles per hour. And that has been my fastest ticket. I want to say over 140. The I-team wanted to know, beyond state warnings, what's being done to stop this. That was my family's rock. Deshaun Jackson's rock was his little sister, Destiny. Little did he know the last day he saw the Springfield High School senior, late last August. And she gave my baby boy a kiss bye. She got to spend time with her favorite niece, Ava. Would be right before she suddenly crashed her car and died early the next morning. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says she was not wearing a seatbelt. Just me going to my mom's hands and she's just like, She's gone. Jackson's excessive speeding on Springfield's old Clifton Road, the state patrol report said was part of the reason she crashed. Her grandmother tells News Center 7 she's convinced a fight inside the car also played a role and she was not recklessly speeding. Yeah, I know the situation is sad when it happened, but you got to appreciate those little moments that you did have her. State patrol numbers the I-team obtained show last year Jackson was one of 362 deadly speed related crashes. But already this year there have been 23 more deadly speeding crashes than this same time last year. Federal numbers show those deadly Ohio car crashes were part of the more than 20,000 people killed in the first half of this year. 18% more than 2020, the largest number of projected deaths since 2006. We're going to push out the first national roadway safety strategy uh, to look at how every part of the system contribute until we really are moving toward where it's exceptionally rare uh, for anybody to even know of anyone killed in a car crash. When you look at Ohio speeding tickets overall, almost 65,000 more drivers have received them this year. 632 of them were going more than 100 miles per hour, including 90 people in Clark County, in 86 in Montgomery County. You get a lot of people feel comfortable going 20 or more over this like speed limit. Sergeant Christina Hayes says the state patrol has seen that trend not just continue, but grow since the pandemic began. You know, the roads were less traveled on. They were able to get places quicker and they just continued that. To crack down, we utilize the air speeds. Troopers are using planes. And that has been my fastest ticket. To catch? I want to say over 140. Super speeders. But it's easy for us to see that, especially in the plane, because they don't they see. Don't. But unlike these five states, Ohio law treats all speeding, including super speeding, the same. Going more than 100 miles per hour is considered a misdemeanor. Certainly, I think it's it's worth uh, looking into. With such an increase in speeding. Do you think that Ohio needs a super speeder law like we've seen in other states? This issue has, has not come up uh, before. The I-team took the question to Miamisburg State Senator Naraj Antani. And one thing you can do is, you know, create mandatory prison time. Uh, within a misdemeanor. And so, the state Senate Transportation Committee member says he's not sure why, before the I-team's question, super speeding punishment has not been looked at, but he thinks it's time. You know, too often we sort of conflate misdemeanor and felony, but they're, they're, a misdemeanor one, you know, can be uh, a, a hefty punishment. So it was just like she was the more smarter one out of the, out of the family in the group. Today, Deshaun Jackson fondly remembers his sister's memory. She was not one of those people who make dumb decisions often. Hoping no other family will have to experience the pain his continues to feel every day. And it's like, yeah, she made that and then now this happened. One day late last month, OSHP partnered with local law enforcement they increased patrols along US 35 and I-75. Now more than half of the 38 drivers that received speeding tickets were going 20 miles or more over the speed limit. It remains to be seen if OSHP is planning more crackdowns before the end of the year. For the I-Team, I'm Candace Price, News Center 7.